My name is Ochaya Sande, a volunteer from Uganda Red Cross Kampala East Branch. Being a person who is passionate about uh, quick response to humanitarian crisis, uh, early warning and early actions are required, uh, especially the responding to disasters like landslide, earthquakes, floodings, fire outbreak, and other forms of uh, human humanitarian crisis. To ensure early response and early actions, we have come up with what we call a mobile alarm system, uh, a mobile application app that will help in ensuring quick response. In ensuring quick response to landslide, in especially in a hilly area where there is always heavy rainfall that is received in those areas and the areas prone to landslide, a landslide detector called radar, of course, uh, where the, a sensor is connected to a radar that people who reside in the area have that system uh, with them in the way that the moment it rains heavily and the radar detects that there is heavy rain that could bring uh, uh, landslide, the radar will send information on a mobile phone application made. Uh, in that mobile phone application will of course create an alarm system where there will be vibration and of course uh, uh, reactivation and this one can ease authorities to respond to or removing this report so that they can reduce the effect of the landslide that may come in since it's detected by the radar and through a mobile phone uh, integrated system. In ensuring quick response to destructive winds, uh, we look towards having uh, a wind speed detector, a wind speed detector with a sensor inside and the sensor is connected to a mobile phone application in a way that where there is strong wind that uh, results into excess rotation and detection from here. When the sensor detects that there is strong wind, that is very destructive, the sensor will send a signal on a mobile phone application, that is the mobile alarm system, uh, on a phone that is downloaded on a phone, and this one will create an alarm system that will ease response because people get to know that there is a need for an action that should be taken because of the strong wind detected. In ensuring a response to fire outbreak, there is need to have a, a smoke detector installed in forested areas and at the same time also uh, through this mobile application where information regarding fire outbreak can be sent in a way that if there is fire outbreak in towns in forested areas a sensor can be be able to send information at the same time also through using this mobile application that a person can put an emergency response uh, number that can ease response from the authorities for example the police fire department that they can be able basing on the information got from the forested areas and also from the homestead due to fire guarding the area in ensuring a reduction in the emission pollution there is a need to have uh, to install more of the emission detector and pollution detector in urban centers on the building. Uh, we have them on cars where we find that a pollution detector is detect I mean, installed on a car in a way that it is connected to a mobile phone application that in case of high level of pollution detected in a town, uh, this detector will send a signal on a mobile phone from buildings and from cars and from motorcycle that this one can help yeah, the planning authority in responding to a pollution where they can devise a better solution like of course a free town movement where there will be mo no movement of cars in towns but that one can only be achieved with it of course a pollution detector uh, that can give an alarm system on phone that can and also the recording can be done based on what is there in town as far as emission pollution is concerned Go.